Today on Two Crazy Ketos, I'm going to teach you how to use Chronometer to track all of your health, fitness, and food on your ketogenic lifestyle. And we'll get into it right after this. Hey, what's up, family? My name is Joe, and I am one half of Two Crazy Ketos. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel, and make sure you hit that little bell icon so that you are notified every single time we upload a new video. So happy new year, everyone. Since it is a new year, I figured today is a great time to start talking about chronometer because, you know, let's face it, when the new year comes, a lot of times people decide they're going to make resolutions to improve their health, maybe track their fitness a little bit more, start tracking their food, or maybe you're changing up your diet and you're going to start eating a ketogenic way of eating. And we use chronometer to track all of our food on our ketogenic way of eating. Now, there are some other programs out there like MyFitnessPal and Carb Manager, and if you're using those, that's perfectly fine. We just prefer Chronometer for a few different reasons, some of which you'll see when we actually get into how to use the program, but the main two are, first of all, it tracks everything. I mean, if you want to know what your omega-6 to omega-3 ratio is, it's going to be tracked. The other thing that I really like about Chronometer, though, is Chronometer has all of their information is verified before it actually goes into the database. If you go into MyFitnessPal, pal and type in a resveratrol, you're going to find hundreds of entries and a lot of them are wrong. You're going to find them where they have calories. Some don't have calories. Some of them have total carbs. Some of them use net carbs. Some of them use like only half of the carbs because what happens is people enter in the information that they want. If you're a net carb person, when you type in a resveratrol, it's going to come up with total carbs especially because MyFitnessPal doesn't allow you to figure out net carbs unless you hack the program. Now, if you come over here on Chronometer, when you type in erythritol, they have the actual statistics and then you can use the program to figure out the net card. So what we're going to do with this video is we're going to show you two different ways. I'm going to show you how to do it on the website. We're going to record my screen. And then I'm also going to show you how to do it on a smartphone because there are some features available on the smartphone that are not on the website. But there's also some features on the website you can't get with the smartphone. The nice thing is, is your account is completely, you know, goes back and forth. So whatever you do on your phone will automatically show up on the website. Now, before we get into the website, I do want to say that, you know, Chronometer is free. They do have a paid version uh, that gives you some bonuses, but you don't need that to be able to use it to track your food. It just allows you to have other things like uh, no ads and being able to share your custom foods and recipes with your friends. So let's get into how to actually use the program. Okay, so I have Chronometer up here on my computer. Okay, so when we come on, you're going to see right here, this is my thing. Now, I am completely fasted for the day so far. It is currently December 29th. You can see here on the calendar. It is 3.30 in the afternoon. I haven't had anything but water, but I wanted to film this to show you how this all works. Now, you can go back to your previous days. For example, if I go back to the 28th, you can see all the different foods I ate. But we're going to go back to the 29th, and you're going to see right up there on the top, you have like diary, then you have your trends, foods, settings, help. And we're going to go one page after the other. I do want to show right here, though, you're going to see calorie summary. This is how many calories I've consumed for the day. This here, don't let be misled by this. This is not how many calories you have left to eat for the day. This is how many calories the program is anticipating that your body is going to burn for the day. So it's anticipating that I'm going to burn 2,752 calories based on my activity that I've done and the way my body with my BMI goes. So you can see here my BMR, when I highlight, hover over it, is 1,768, okay? So now if you go up on the top, because I have this connected to my Apple Watch, it is constantly monitoring my Apple Watch health. So you can see here, I have burned, according to the Apple Watch, 323 calories. Now, all you have to do to get that information to show up on here is open up the Chronometer app on your phone. As soon as you open up the app on your phone, it all transfers from your Apple Watch into Chronometer. If you never open up the app on your phone, you won't find that information here. It also says what my heart rate is at the time, which is 73 beats per minute. Now, I also have this connected to my scale 
my withing scale, so it automatically imported in, which I never go much by this body fat, but it says my body fat is 23%. And yes, my weight is up a little bit. We're at Christmas time, let's face it. I'm 190.6 pounds. Okay, so now we're gonna go down here. This is my calorie deficit so that I don't have any, I haven't eaten any food. So obviously it's saying I'm in a 2,752 caloric deficit. Then over here, now this is your targets, your macronutrient targets for the day. And you can also, by the way, eliminate this. You can take this out if you don't want to see that. This is, is, this is saying here, I've had zero energy for the day. I've allotted myself 1,811 calories over here. This is my protein goals of 114, my net carbs of 20, my fat of 142. And all of this could be changed. I'm going to show you how to do that in the middle. Now, now down here on the bottom, again, these are all of my different targets just highlighted. You can have seven different things. And so I have here what my targets are for my fat, my protein, my carbs, my fiber, my sugar alcohols, my potassium, and my magnesium. Down on the bottom is where you would have a whole breakdown of everything. So I'm going to actually go back to yesterday to give you a better idea. You can see here... It highlights everything. So if I go over to vitamins, it tells me like I had 61% of my vitamin B. I had 135% of vitamin B3. So everything that you can think of is all documented here. Now, I also don't even have in here all of the electrolytes that I would take. But for example, here's all my proteins. It, you can go in. Here's my omega-3 to omega-6. I was much higher on omega-6 than omega-3s yesterday. So everything is in there for you. So we're going to go back to today. Now, while we're on the diary page, these are the things you can do. You can add your food, you can add your exercise, you can add your biometrics, or you can put notes. So if we go to notes, like I can put, this is what I was doing. Was I on some special thing for the day? Uh, we're going to go backwards, add your biometrics. If I want to like manually add in my weight, I can put that in. Add any exercise I put, you can put all that in there. And then we're going to go to add food. So I'm going to put what I'm going to eat for dinner. Today, I'm going to have some Kerrygold butter. I'm going to have three tablespoons of that. So I'm going to put three tablespoons. I don't usually care about the time of day. I just put it like, what am I going to eat it? I'm going to eat it at dinner time, and I'm going to put that. And you can see already, it's already gone up that I've consumed 300 calories, and it takes it off of my energy. Now, along with that, I'm going to have some ground beef. And I'm going to just put in ground beef. I'm going to have 80-20. I always put raw. So I'm just going to keep typing it. And I'm going to put 80-20. And here you go. 80-20 fat raw. And I'm going to be eating uh, 16 ounces of that. So you can hear I can change 4 ounces or my grams. So I'm going to have 4 servings of 4 ounces. And I'm going to hit add. And you can see there, I'm now at 1,448 calories. Now, what's nice about this, if you want to plan your day ahead of time, you can go in and actually plan this a day, two days, three days ahead of time, and then use this to keep yourself accountable as you're going during the week. So, you know, for example, if I would put everything I'm going to eat tomorrow in here, now all I have to do is pull up the app and say, when the food on this app is gone, I'm done for the day. This is how many calories at this point I will have burned after eating my food. So that's good. The higher the deficit, obviously, the more pounds you're going to lose. So now let's say there's a food I want to add that's like a packaged food. For example, keto chow. Uh, I can come up here. I hit add food, and I can just start typing in keto chow. And you're going to see here keto chow, and then you can, just, you can continue typing in the flavor or just start looking for it. So, for example, here's keto chow 2.1 chocolate mint. Now, you're also going to see these ones in blue. These ones in blue are my personal recipes or custom foods. So, for example, if I go keto chow ice cream, that I have in there as all the ingredients. So, instead of having to put in like what I'm putting in my keto chow, I can just type in keto chow ice cream and it will have everything all at one time. So, let's say I choose the chocolate mint and I'm going to go in and I down at the bottom, I choose one serving. It tells me everything over here. And now you're going to see that I'm going to actually drag that down so into my dinner. So if you put it in the wrong place, you can just kind of click and drag. Now, obviously, for keto chow, I'm not just going to have chocolate mint, but I'm also going to have some butter. So I can just go add, here's my Kerrygold butter. And let's say I was going to add three tablespoons of my butter. And then I, again, I can drag that back down here. And you can see 
now everything is there. Now you can see here that I've consumed eight, I will have consumed 1,878 calories. Here's my protein goal, 103 out of 114. Here's my net carbs. Here's my fat, and that's how my day goes. Now let's move on to some of the other things you can do in here. I think one of the most important things, the trends is not super important. It's a feature for, they have some gold features, but it kind of just shows you trends on how you're doing for the week. Um, you can also do nutrition reports and give yourself a full nutrition report. And then you can print it and also have snapshots. Okay, the bigger thing that I wanted to get into was here's your foods. So one of the things that's nice about Chronometer is I can have custom foods or custom recipes. So these are all of my custom recipes. Here is our keto, nog, keto eggnog that we just did a recipe for. And up here is I would put in my name. You can put any kind of notes you want here. You can put in how many servings. So I said that there's four servings in that full recipe. And then you just start adding in all of your ingredients. And then up here is your nutrition facts for everything. And again, everything is super detailed down here below. And then I can, ha I can choose, do I want to see the nutrients in a serving or do I want to see it in a full recipe? So if you look at that full recipe of my eggnog, is 1,353 calories. Now, along with the custom recipes, you can also do a custom food. So for example, here are my custom foods. So maybe it's a food that wasn't in the database or something like a keto bread. Now, some of the keto bricks now are in there, but I can go in here and I, I put all of the information for a keto brick into chronometer and then I also did it as a puck. So now I can go in because I break them down into eight pieces. I have a keto brick puck and it's 19 grams or I can just choose it by the gram and there's 151 grams in here. So now if I wanted to go back to my diary and I started to add in, for example, keto brick, when I pull up the keto brick, you can see I can, how many grams am I eating or am I having a puck? And then the puck will automatically show up with 126 calories. So that's why I have that in there. So another cool feature in the food section is this Ask the Oracle. So if we come over here, what this allows us to do is find foods that will help us make up where we're lacking with maybe our vitamins and our minerals. For example, we have potassium up here, right here. You go over here and you tell like what nutrient you want to search and you can tell it, rank it by the Oracle, what the highest amount per calorie, highest amount per gram find the 25 and then even what kind of foods you want. Now, right now you can see up here, I have potassium and these are all like the best vegetables, but let's say I also want to see what other foods are going to give me a, like high amounts of potassium. For example, we can go choose, let's choose beef products and then we're going to go down and choose, let's see, lamb, veal and game products and then hit search. Now it's gonna tell me that, so the best place to get my potassium is actually with parsley. It's gonna give me 6,300 milligrams per 100 grams. Uh, then we have like celery flakes. Now we can, let's take out the vegetables and see what are the best meats to give me potassium. And it's actually bearded seal. It'll give me 1,300 milligrams of, of potassium. That's pretty awesome. Now let's, for example, another one would be like where we're, a lot of us are lacking would be our omega-3. So I wanna know what is the best place to get omega-3s? And I'm gonna actually tell it to select all categories. So what are the best places to get my omega-3s? Flaxseed oil, I'll get 53 grams. Or um, then we've got fish oil, salmon oil. So these are the best places that I can get my omega-3. So that's what's nice about the Ask the Oracle. Then we have search foods where you can just search all of your different foods and stuff. Most important thing about chronometer is actually gonna be settings. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna hit profile. Now on your profile, this is where you're gonna put in, you know, like how old you are, what sex are you, uh, what your BMR is. What always, I always put activity level. I always suggest either putting lightly active or sedentary. Then we're gonna go over to targets. Now here's where you change everything you want. You have a few different options here. First of all, on tracking your carbs, you can choose to track carbs as total carbs, uh, which is it's going to it's not going to remove any fibers or any sugar alcohols uh, when it's figuring out your carbs for the day. You can also choose net carbs with sugar alcohols, and what that's going to do is it's going to give you the net carbs with the fiber taken out of the carbs, but not the sugar alcohols. So let's say you follow a protocol where you don't mind taking the fiber out because you're eating like a lot of flax or something like that, but you do want to count all of your sugar alcohols like erythritol or maybe you're 
for some reason eating maltitol or sorbitol or something like that, which you shouldn't. Well, you don't want to take that out because your body will at least partially digest those two. So maybe you want to follow net carbs without taking it out. You would choose that here. Then you have the traditional net carbs, which is without sugar alcohols. So what that's going to give you is it's the net carbs minus fiber and minus sugar alcohols. And I'm going to leave that on there right now. Okay, now that we've gone over that part, we've got this next part, which is the macros. And you have three different ways you can do your macros. You can do fixed values, you can do a ketogenic calculator, or you can do your macro ratios. I highly suggest you do fixed values. And the reason is, is if you don't do it that way, if you allow them to use the ketogenic calculator or the macro ratios, it changes up your diary all the time based on how active you are. And if you're trying to lose weight, you want to have a set macro. So the best way to do it is fixed values. So what I suggest you do is go over to our website or find another keto calculator where you put in all your information and it gives you the macros and then come back and enter that here. So right now, for example, I'm trying to eat at a deficit. So I've set my calories at 1811, my protein at 114, my net carbs at 20 and my fats at 142. But I can come over here, for example, and choose ketogenic calculator, and then I can go select your keto program or customize your own, and I can tell, it'll say, do I want it to be rigorous, moderate, relaxed, or custom? And then finally, with macro ratios, this is where you're going to put in, like, let's say I want to eat only 2% carbs, but I want to eat 78% uh, fat. So I can just change it here and it automatically will determine all of my ratios on the front. So it's not going to give you your calorie goal. It's going to only give you your ratios of what your macro should be based on 78% fat, 2% carbs, 20% protein. Now where you're going to change how much weight you lose would be down here on the bottom. So you have your current weight and then you're going to choose, do I want to lose one pound? Do I want to lose two pounds or wherever you want to go? And what is your goal weight? And now if what you can see here, if I leave it on this, if I were to go back to the diary, you're going to see how it changes. So now it's saying that, if I cannot get that to highlight, that I should only be eating 1,446 calories for the day and I've eaten 1,878. Not that I've eaten anything. Now if we go back again to that same page, let's say I only want to lose one pound, a one pound a week. Go back to the diary and you can see how everything changes. So it's all in how you want to play with it, but it's a lot of times changing constantly. So if I don't have a very busy day, these numbers will constantly change. So I prefer to just always figure out exactly where I want to be and put it on fixed values. And then you can see down here on the bottom, it's going to have that. So now what happens is when I go back to the diary, this never changes. This number will always stay the same. What will change is this, based on how many calories it thinks I'm going to burn. Because you can see, since sitting here, because I'm not active and I was active earlier today, it's actually lowered how many calories it thinks I'm going to burn. Well, I don't want these numbers constantly being changed. So that's why I leave it there. Devices is common sense stuff. It's just like connecting your scale, your Fitbits, your Garmin's, your Aura Ring, and then you have your Apple Watch. And then sharing is like who all your friends would be. You can also share all of your information with your doctor, which I really like. And then also heads up health. And that is pretty much everything with the website. Now what I want to do real quickly to wrap this up, I don't want to make this video too long, is I want to show you how to do it on your phone because there's a couple of different options. So I'm just going to uh, screen record my phone here. Okay, so if we open up Chronometer here, you can see everything that we just did on the website is currently on my phone. Now up on this very top, you have uh, like your little thing with your energy and it says I'm at 1,878 out of 1,811 calories. There's my protein. If I swipe to the uh, left, you'll see it come up in the little graph form. And then if you click on each one, it'll actually bring up more detailed information. So my calories consume 428 in protein, 1,421 in fat. Same thing with what I've burned and then my balance and everything I have left. If you swipe over to the right, it kind of gives you everything and a little bit more detailed information for your nutrient targets that you were paying attention to. Then we have foods. You can access all of your recipes, everything like the website. You still have trends. You still have settings where you can change everything. The biggest thing is going to be how you add your food. So if I, all I have to do is hit this little plus button, 
and then you can bring up this little thing where it says suggest food, add food, scan barcode. So if I hit add food, I can type in, for example, let's say I'm gonna have uh, ribs. I can start typing in ribs and this right up on the top, it remembers the items that you use a lot. So I usually am eating Smithfield pork back ribs. I can click on that and then say I'm gonna have five ounces and it gives me everything and it tells you all of the information you need. So I'm gonna hit cancel because I'm not gonna add that. So now we have an easier way to enter food if you're using your phone. You can hit that little plus button again. Now hit scan barcode. Now I have two different foods here. I have this wild selections Alaskan salmon. All I'm gonna do is scan the barcode and it automatically comes up. Now the reason I like this is sometimes when you go to enter information into the website, it doesn't show up because they've got a different name. So you're gonna see here, this is labeled Bumblebee Foods Alaskan Salmon and Water. But if you look at the pouch, it doesn't say Bumblebee Foods. It says Wild Selection. Bumblebee Foods is actually written on the back. But this is the proper thing because it's all been verified by the company. Now I can just tell it like, how much do I want? Do I want one pouch? Am I having a half a pouch? Anything like that. Now I wanted to show you another thing, and this is what makes Chronometer so great. I have this complete wellness uh, collagen. It's a grass-fed collagen. I'm gonna hit scan, and we're gonna find the barcode, and look what comes up. This is a new food. Would you like to enter this food's nutritional information? So I'm gonna hit let's do it. Now it's gonna say take a photo of the nutrient nutrition facts label. So I'm gonna take a photo of that. and then hit use photo. Now it's gonna say take a photo of the front package. Now I'm gonna take a photo of the front package and use that photo. Now when I hit next, it actually, I can tell that this is um, complete wellness collagen chocolate, right? This is the chocolate. Okay, now I'm gonna hit done. And you can see now I can go and enter all of the information in here. So I can start entering everything in here. So for example, there is um, 40 calories per serving and you can put whatever you want in here. So then we have, for the example, carbohydrates is one gram. Fiber is, it says less than one. So I'm gonna just leave it at the five because what happens is, it will start actually taking all the information from the photo you just did. I was looking for fat. It's not even listed on here. So it takes all the information from the photo that you just took and starts entering it in. So for example, I did not type in 10 grams of protein, but it showed up because it read the photo. Now I'm gonna hit save and you're gonna get this little thing. It says email notification. Congratulations, your food has been creative. Do you wanna receive an email when the food is reviewed? And it, I'll say yes. So what's gonna happen is that information is available in your phone, in your database under custom foods until they verify the information by looking at the photos and then it will become public. That's what makes Chronometer so good is because all of the information is verified. So that's how you use Chronometer. I know it looks super complicated, but trust me, once you get it set up, it's really easy, especially if you're using a phone. I mean, if you're using a phone, all you gotta do is take the food that you're gonna eat, scan the barcode and it goes in there. Now, if you're eating something like, say, ground beef from a butcher and there is no barcode, just start typing in like 8515 ground beef and it's gonna pull the information right off of the USDA website. Now with meats, I do highly suggest that you choose um, the raw values, don't raw uncooked. Don't choose something where it says like pan browned ground beef because you don't know how much fat's been like drained off on those values. What I like to do, for example, let's say I'm gonna brown, brown up uh, a pound of ground beef. I know it's 16 ounces raw, I'm gonna put that in. Now if I'm only gonna eat half of it, what I'll do is after I'm done cooking it, I weigh what's left. So let's say I have 10 ounces left at the end. If I eat half of that, I know I just ate a half a pound of the original raw. So I have 10 ounces left. I started with 16 ounces. So if I eat five ounces now, means I ate eight ounces of the raw. I hope that's not too complicated. But I just think that's the better way to do it. This way you don't have to worry about like how much fat got drained off in the cooking. If you underestimate your fat, that's better than overestimating it. The other nice thing I said is the recipe section. If you're making your own recipes or for example, maybe you're pulling other people's recipes and you want the nutritional information, you can kind of go in and create them yourself. 
But what Rachel and I are going to do is we're going to modify our chronometer account a little bit and then we're going to open it up to any of you guys who do have chronometer gold. This only works if you have the gold subscription. Uh, you'll be able to actually friend request us and then you would have access to all of our recipes. They're going to be labeled like Keto Chili 2KK. And this way you would be able to find all of our recipes that are on our website and have them right in your chronometer. Now, if you want the gold membership, it is 34, I think 95. I think it's worth it. It does take away all the ads. It gives you that ability to share. It gives you access to the fasting and a couple other things. I will leave a link for it down below. But again, you don't need the gold membership to be able to track your food. If you just, if you don't want to see ads, like I hate ads. If you want to be able to share your recipes, like I share my recipes back and forth with Rachel and some of my family members, it's a great thing to have. But don't feel you absolutely have to have it. So that is our video for today. Hopefully I've helped you out a little bit. Hopefully I've given you a little bit of inside information on how to use Chronometer. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments section. Also let us know down in the comments section if there's any other nutritional apps that you would like us to either review or show you how to use and we'd be happy to do that. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure again you hit that little bell button so that you are notified every single time we upload a new video. And until next time, bye.